have officially entered the park. It's so beautiful and there's like no one else here. So we're kind of using today as like a scouting mission for the bigger hike and animal sighting day, hopefully tomorrow. I'm just so excited. <laughs> We just saw our first bull elk in the park. So cool. I mean, I just, ugh. right now there's a little coyote out there. <laughs> he looks like a little dot. basically just been on a safari. <laughs> like we've been driving through Yellowstone National Park, stop every once in a while to take some video and some photos of the bison from the car because they are a lot of the times very close to the road or crossing the road so you can just see them really well from the car. And then I also have binoculars so I've been looking at through the binoculars at them far away. We've seen, I don't know, at least one or 200 bison today, which is crazy. <laughs> so this is definitely something I can check off the bucket list bison in the winter has been something I wanted to see for a while. Today we've been exploring a place called Lamar Valley and that is a beautiful section of Yellowstone National Park. I think it's probably my favorite part of the park and we came through here in the summer and saw hundreds and hundreds of bison. So I knew that I wanted to come back to this area. The road from Mammoth to Cook City is the only road open in the winter as well. So um, it's kind of your only option. It's just been an awesome wildlife safari kind of day here in Yellowstone. I'm just so like happy, you know, like such an epic day outdoors, seeing wildlife. <sighs> It is 15 degrees out Fahrenheit and that is this Celsius <laughs> and I'm not trying to camp in that sort of weather. So we got an Airbnb for tonight and tomorrow night and it is so cute. It's this little room here in this old boutique hotel and it's basically just this one room but I want to show you the bathroom. It's actually bigger than our bathroom at home I think. But this sink is petrified wood. How cool is this? And then I really like this little stone bison. 
feel like we need to do something like this if we ever design a bathroom. It's pretty cool. So yeah, we're gonna stay here for two nights and it is so cozy and warm in here. I think the plan is to get some pizza for dinner. Ooh. We are so hungry. We really haven't eaten much at all since breakfast because we've been so excited <laughs> that I just kind of forgot about food. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Go. Today we are going snowshoeing. So we have tons and tons of winter gear in the car. And on the time we get to the trailhead, I think it will be a little bit warmer, but we're going snowshoeing and gonna look for animals. You would think after seeing hundreds of bison yesterday, I would be like over it, but nope. It is still so cool to see them in the wild. So it just doesn't get old. That's the plan for today. So when we get to the trailhead, we're gonna have some breakfast and then start the hike. <laughs> Right from the car. Bison, fresh in the morning. Oh, wow. For breakfast, we have some stuff from like the bakery. We got a bacon and cheddar uh, muffin, I think. And then this is a huckleberry scone. This actually looks really good. And then I also brought some hard boiled eggs from home just for like a little bit of protein. That's it. Scone. Let's eat. No more. I want to eat. I'm getting hangry. Say cut. Cut. <laughs> snowshoes in the car but I don't actually think we're gonna need the snowshoes because there's not that much snow so we'll see how long we last I have five layers on so I think once I can block the wind with this it'll be pretty warm off to a cold start but I think we're gonna warm up pretty quickly I'm already out of breath <laughs> how beautiful is this oh
Since this video is really all about the bison, <laughs> I wanted to share a couple really interesting facts about them. Yellowstone National Park is the only place in the United States where bison have lived continuously since prehistoric times. Bison are the largest land mammal in North America. A bull bison can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. That's crazy. <laughs> Young bison that enter their first winter have a much higher risk of dying. So 20 to 40 young bison uh, per 100 typically don't make it through their first winter. Right now I'm reading the book called American Buffalo and I highly recommend it if you're interested in just learning more about the animals and their history here in the United States. It's a really cool book. I'm almost done with it and I'll link to it in the description below. It's by Stephen Ranella. tidbit of cool info that I want to leave you with is there are bison on nickels that were made between 1913 and 1938. All of the nickels have a bison on one side of them and uh, so it's kind of cool. You can look through your wallet and see if you have one in there. <laughs> Those are my cool facts about bison. <laughs> now we continue hiking. This is so cold, it's hard to talk. Recap, we have stumbled upon something so cool that happens in nature. Earlier this morning, a pack of wolves took down an elk, a bull elk, and you can actually see it from the road. And so we got here this afternoon and the wolves were gone and coyotes were around the elk carcass. And so we watched that and we thought that was the coolest thing. colors is gray white black and they just look so cool and they look like my brother has a husky and they look exactly like her but um, it's just I've never seen a wolf in the wild and that is like the coolest thing they're all like playing now and jumping in the snow and we just had the binoculars and taking photos it's like 
so cold <laughs> and exhausting, but also like the most exciting thing to see. So too bad we didn't get here early in the morning and see the actual like takedown of the elk because I think that would have blown my mind. But <laughs> being able to see the wolves and the coyotes is pretty cool too, right? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> oh man, I'm cold. Yeah. to make one more stop for the day before the sun is setting this is mammoth hot springs and they are like everything in this park very cool in the winter but now i'm turning into an ice school so it's time to head back to the hotel room eat some good food and relax let's go